and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner. This next poem from Chris Riddell's book uh, is by Neil Gaiman, who is one of my favourite writers. And this is a wonderful poem. If I say it's about science, then most of it won't be uh, seem to be about science at all, but it sort of is. Uh, it's called The Mushroom Hunters. Science, as you know, my little one, is the study of the nature and behaviour of the universe. It's based on observation, on experiment and measurement, and the formulation of laws to describe the facts revealed. In the old times, they say, the men came already fitted with brains designed to follow flesh beasts at a run, to hurdle blindly into the unknown, and then to find their way back home when lost, with a slain antelope to carry between them, or on bad hunting days, nothing. The women, who did not need to run down prey, had brains that spotted landmarks and made paths between them, left up the thorn bush and across the scree, and looked down in the bowl of the half-fallen tree, because sometimes there are mushrooms. Before the flint club, or flint butcher's tools, the first tool of all was a sling for the baby, to keep her hands free, and something to put the berries and the mushrooms in, the roots and the good leaves, the seeds and the crawlers, then a flint pestle to smash, to crush, to grind or break. And sometimes men chased the beasts into the deep woods and never came back. Some mushrooms will kill you, while some will show you gods. And some will feed the hunger in our bellies. Identify. Others will kill us if we eat them raw and kill us again if we cook them once. But if we boil them up in spring water and pour the water away and then boil them once more and pour the water away, only then can we eat them safely. Observe. Observe childbirth. Measure the swell of bellies and the shape of breasts. And through experience discover how to bring babies safely into the world. Observe everything. And the mushroom hunters walk the ways they walk and watch the world and see what they observe. And some of them would thrive and lick their lips while others clutched their stomachs and expired. So laws are made and handed down on what is safe. Formulate. The tools we make to build our lives, our clothes, our food, our path home, all these things we base on observation, on experiment, on measurement, on truth. And science, you remember, is the study of the nature and behaviour of the universe, based on observation, experiment and measurement, and the formulation of laws to describe these facts. The race continues. An early scientist drew beasts upon the walls of caves to show her children how all fat on mushrooms, now all fat on mushrooms and on berries, what would be safe to hunt. The men go running on after beasts. The scientists walk more slowly, over to the brow of the hill and down to the water's edge and past the place where the red clay runs. They are carrying their babies in the slings they made freeing their hands to pick the mushrooms. Thank you. I just love that poem. It's got feminism, mushrooms, I love mushrooms, science and lots of other lovely things, ancient history. I hope you enjoyed it too. For more poems read by me, find me on YouTube, Brandy Pearson. Thank you.